What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am of course C and Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. Now as you can see here on the screen and as you can tell by the title, we are doing something that we've never done before. So I'm gonna do a Photoshop tutorial. Um, Vice, that is a part of SWF, asked me to do something similar like this after we talked about it a little bit on Twitter. Um, Alex Halford put out a tutorial on how to do this um, but his cutout was against a white background and it was brightly lit and all that other stuff. So I wanted to show a couple of different ways that you could do that. And I'm going to do that here. And we are using, um, Photoshop CS6 to do this. So I've got two different models. If you want to count that I've got vice and I've got Danielle Jane. So the reason I chose these two and I do these screenshots in, uh, WW2K18, under the menu pose option now the reason i chose these two vice it, this background is a little darker no matter who you're looking at but vice is a darker person danielle jane is a brighter person so there's different ways that we can do that if you're using if you're trying to cut something out of a dark background or a dark subject versus a light background or light subject so there's three different ways that you can do this here in photoshop First, I press C to bring up the crop, or you can come over here and hit crop. And the first thing that I do is make this image as small as possible without losing anything. So you can hit enter, and that gets rid of that. We'll click this here. This is our move tool right here, up in the top left. I keep saying right here, like you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, but it, it's going to be difficult since I've never done one of these before, but let's, let's move it along here. So this is cut out. Now, the way that I do this mostly is because is the, is probably the simplest way, but like I said, I'm going to show you a different way. So the first thing that I do is go over here to the quick selection or the magic wand. So if you're on your magic wand and you press W, now all of these have short keys, um, L for the lasso, M for the marquee, V for the move tool, C for crop, all of these have shorts. Now the magic wand is if you click once and it's gonna select everything that's similar in that area. But if you click a second time, then it deselects what you've already chosen. Now you can hold shift and click and it will add those things back in but as you can see, as you do that, it starts to select the things that you don't want to cut out. So I'm gonna press Control D, I'm doing this in Windows, is deselect, or you can go to select up here in the top and choose deselect. Now the move, or the, uh, excuse me, the magic wand tool, if you press and hold, it'll bring up these little side menus. Every one of these that has the little triangle on the side will open up another set of tools. So on your magic wand to tool, do the quick selection tool. Now I'm going to zoom way in here because my tool right here is small. It's a size eight right now. Whoops. Um, you can make this bigger by coming up here, choosing this, choosing the size. And of course the bigger it is, the bigger the selection it's going to be. But I like to choose my, I like to have mine a little smaller, like around 5 to 15, depending on what I'm working on. So we're going to choose 15 right now. And if you press the space bar and left click, you can move your picture around. And to zoom in, you can go to view, zoom in. You can press alt and move the wheel on your mouse or you can press control and the plus or minus sign will move it out as well. So we are zoomed in. We are at 300% as it shows here on our tab, 300%. And I like to just start off in the corner and just, you know, first choose that, but slowly move over towards our subject and see how it pops that line. And we'll keep, we'll keep going. We'll continue down just clicking away. Now, here's where there's some editing going to be, not editing, some 
different things you're gonna be able to do. So if you press, if you press the Alt button and you see how, how it goes from the plus sign to the minus sign. Now if I choose the minus sign and I click right here, then that deselects that, that circle right there. I'm gonna go ahead and select that back. But we can use this to more finely tune our selection around our character or around whatever it is you're cutting out, whether it's a person, a car, a building, it doesn't matter. If you press Alt and it goes into this little deselection thing, you can click around the edges of your subject. And that will somewhat, of course you can, you can zoom way in and just get as detailed as you'd like. Um, mainly for what, what I use these for, let's see on his ear right here, just kind of round out the ear. What I use these for is uh, match cards or things going up on SWFederation.com. SWFederation so what I'm doing them for, they don't need to be that perfect because there's a lot of other stuff going on in the background with the match cards and things like that. But we can continue to choose. Now I just, if you just click it, I'm gonna zoom out just a bit here. If you just click it and go down, sometimes it works out where it, it perfectly goes against the line, but sometimes it doesn't. So you see how it chose his whole arm right there? I'm gonna press Control Z to undo. So first when I do this and it pops that line, the first thing I like to do is zoom in, hold the space bar and click, and just kind of go and see by pressing Alt and left click, you know, where it might need to be touched up just a little bit. So now, we're, we'll start down here. We're gonna try to get this area between his arm and his leg. Now it shows his thumb right here. So again, I'm gonna press Alt, and this is gonna automatically go somewhat around, whoops, um, somewhat around the line. Now we know that this line on his arm doesn't start here where I'm moving my mouse. We know that it starts back here. But as we start going up, see it's gonna select everything. So since we've already selected this outside line and we know where this line is, we're gonna hold Alt and just go up the line of his arm until we get to the top, just like that. And we will bring it over. Now it will, like I said, it'll automatically find that line sometimes because it can see things that we can't. And then we'll just come in and kind of clean this up a little bit. So now there's a spot right there. So now that part is selected and we'll come over and we'll slowly do, well, I say slowly, I'm gonna kind of whip through this side since we've already looked at it on that side. We'll zoom in and see no big chunks missing. That's what I'm looking for, are big chunks that cut into, into the subject, very much like that. So we'll hold Alt again and left click and hold down the left click and we'll, we'll make sure to get all of that stuff and there we go. And we'll do the same here between his um, arm and leg. Let's zoom in just a bit and make sure that it's not getting any big chunks there. That's okay, that little piece of his shirt's okay. All right, so now we have the outside of the subject selected. Now, we're gonna hit delete, and as you can see, it's deleted the entire background. And another thing that I like to do, and I'm gonna zoom way in so you can see this part, is I like to select the inverse. And what that does is you notice that you still see the marching ants, I like to call, around the, the subject. Instead of, now you see them around the subject, but you also see them on the outside here. So when you select the inverse, this is selecting your subject, whatever it was, like I said, a person, car, building, whatever it is, and it's selecting only them. Now one thing I like to do to kind of clean it up a little bit is I go to select, I choose modify, and then choose feather. Now what feather does is it's gonna blur out the, rate. excuse me, it's gonna blur out the edges just enough to kind of get rid of those rough parts, and I like to do like a number two 
and we hit OK. So you can't really tell that anything has happened here. These things have gotten a little more round around these around this person. So again, I'll hit select and I'll choose inverse again, where it selects all this negative space. Now watch the line around Vice's head. I'm going to press delete. And you see it kind of contracts just a hair. And what that does is I'm going to add a background of, oh, to add a new layer, you press shift control alt in. That's going to add a new layer. And then over here, I'm going to choose red. Now, I choose red because it's a big, bright color, and it allows you to see those imperfections. So I'm going to say select and deselect. We're going to zoom out here. And then I'm going to, which one is it? Alt and backspace is your foreground color here, which ours is red over here on the left. Control and backspace is your background color, which is black. So we're going to do alt and backspace to do our foreground. And then you can come in here and look at the edges of your subject and see, okay, maybe his beard looks a little funny over there. So I'm going to click E for eraser. Um, I'm going to right click. Now you can get one with the hardness of zero. You can adjust this, of course. 100 hardness being if I click here, it's going to be a hard, um, a hard erase line. Golly, I keep doing it on the wrong layer. A hard erase line, where if you do this one, where it's fuzzy with the hardness at zero, you can kind of see the 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 edges are not as hard. So we'll come in here. We might straighten his beard up a little bit, and that's that. You can right click this layer and delete it. We won't need that. We can delete this layer, and we can delete my how to cut a person out in Photoshop layer. Now to use this on top of everything, you don't always want to save everything to a PSD, which is a Photoshop document. You want to save this. We'll do File, Save As. Now I see I've got all my close-ups here. A PNG, and I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know what a PNG means. A PNG is a transparent uh, background on whatever it is. So you would choose, like, I've already cut them out, but um, so I won't save them again. But when you save as a PNG, all of this negative space, all this background space is gone. So let's go to Open. Let's go to Close-ups. And we'll choose Calypso, our champ. And see, it's completely out right there. We'll choose... SWF's Pariah, Siler Jordan. So it's all it's all gone, and it's a PNG file. And what that does is it allows us to let's see, let's choose. We'll just choose this poster here. It allows us to drag. Whoops. Put things behind that that um, subject, whatever it may be. And it allows us to put things behind there, whether it's you're making a poster, you're making a match card, anything like that. So let's open up. Let's go to Shows, and we'll go to Uprising. We'll go to Episode 1. And I'm going to open up this here. This. So as you can see here on the far right, we have Vice, and we have Havoc in our championship matchup. Now all of these things are on their own layer. So you have your background. You have... Your, your first subject, you have Havoc in there, Vice. And so that where we cut out a Vice, now things can go behind them. You can change. I had to brighten Vice up a little bit just because of the way that um, this whole thing looked. See, it's got the scratches and everything. So it added some things that we needed to see Vice's beautiful face. So that is how we cut out someone using the quick selection tool. So now, let me close all these. The next person, or the next way we're gonna do, is we're gonna use on Danielle Jane. So again, I'm gonna press Control, or I'm gonna press C for crop, or go over here and hit our crop tool. Shorten this thing up some. So we only need, or we only get what we need. Go to move. I'm going to press Alt and the wheel to move in. Whoops. 
And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna use this tool here, the quick mask mode. And what that does is when you press the quick mask and you press B for brush, or you come over here and you do your brush, all these different tools, you do your brush, and you can do a hard brush or you can do a soft brush, it's up to you. And you can increase the size of your brush, the same like we talked about before up here, or you can press the left and right brackets and they'll widen and, and uh, contract. So by pressing Alt in the wheel, we're gonna zoom in and we're going to start tracing the outside of our subject. Now everything in red is what you're gonna end up keeping. So we'll do a quick one here. Cause like I said, what I'm doing on mine, they don't need to be absolutely perfect. Um, but you still want them to look good and that's where that feather comes in. So we'll just do up to here and we'll come across and we'll finish out on her hair. Okay, now you can also press E for, e for erase and come in here and kind of clean this edge up. I got a little wild around the edge there. We'll change it to a hard brush so we can get a more accurate. Let's press B for brush again. And once you have your whole subject, you know, traced out or the edges in red, then you can go back in with a wider or a bigger brush and then select the large areas because you don't have to be so precise once you um, have your border around. And make sure everything is red because if there's one spot like that and we uncheck this mask, you see now it's going to choose, it's going to deselect that one little area. So we're going to make sure everything is red. We choose this unmask and it's going to deselect everything. Now if you'll notice, every, let me get our move tool, everything is marching ants. So if we press delete, it deletes everything but the stuff that we selected with the quick mask tool and red. Okay, now also I'm going to do, now this one's backwards, where before we were selecting the outside with the, with the uh, uh, quick selection tool, now we're selecting the inside with the quick masking tool. So we want to, if we're gonna do that feather part again, we're gonna do select inverse, and then we're gonna do select, modify, feather. There's the two again. And then select inverse again. And I'm gonna zoom in again so we can see. When you hit delete, it just kind of feathers out that and gets kind of gets rid of those hard, rough edges. And now you have your selection. Like I said, whether it's a person, a building, a car, a animal, a plant, it doesn't matter. The last way, so that one was quick mask selection. On Vice, we did the uh, quick the quick selection. And then on Daniel Jane, we did the quick mask. Now, for the last one, it is going, this one is for if you're um, really, really trying to get meticulous with what you're doing. So let's open up, well here, let's open up uh, let's do, we'll do uh, this newcomer right here. We'll do Le Ray Lorenzo, okay? So again, I would press C to crop this, this out. Now this one is if you want to get like incredibly accurate, incredibly perfect. You're going to use the pen tool. Pen tool is um, somewhat difficult to use to start off with. I, I would recommend doing the quick mask or the uh, quick selection, but the pen tool is another way. So I'm gonna zoom in here. So every time you make a click, it's gonna make a selection. Now you see how it just makes the square right there? You're gonna have to right click that and say make selection I don't want it any I don't want it feathered just yet. 
and then you can you know move that selection but that's not what we're gonna do we're gonna deselect that go to our pen tool now this is if you want all every single little detail so we're gonna we'll click right there we'll and you want to zoom in for this you will click it's a little straight if not you can hold the mouse button down and move this thing around and that's gonna give you that's what's gonna make it accurate so we're gonna move it around you'll press alt and click whoops click that last anchor point now if you're just clicking you don't need to do that as you can see I'm just making clicks but if you click out here and see you've cut off that top part and you want to round this thing out then you'll press alt and uns or, or deselect it and say I want that that one to end right there and we'll do the same here now if you don't do that and you see these two arms and you click out here you see what happens it, it throws another it throws another turn in it so if you click it and then come over to that side now you can see that it's going to choose around what it is you're you're doing it and some of these little inside pieces you can make it as meticulous or as or not as you like now as you can see and as you can probably tell this is going to take a lot of time and the reason for that is all of these little clicks all these little clicks take time to fill out this is if you're doing something in very high resolution that's going to be seen in extremely high resolution much like a billboard or a t-shirt even um, but for what I'm doing I don't need to do this necessarily this is this is the not, there's really nothing else I can say about that this is really if you're doing anything in crazy crazy high definition that you want you don't want um, all the little imperfections like we try to cover up in our things for our match cards and and stuff like that so this stuff is can get quite meticulous now in the end of course and I'm just gonna select out here and choose our last one in the end you right click you make your selection you say you don't want zero feather because we do that at the end and now as you can see that whoops this piece is cut out quite a you know pretty profoundly and you can press control C for copy control V for paste and now now you can see that that looks somewhat similar it's not exact but it is a pretty pinpoint it cuts out all these frays and things like that now we can still always go in here with with Ray which I'm gonna have to do anyway and come in and do it this way with the quick mask you can make it smaller to get into some of those tight places just like that because in the end it's all about what you're most comfortable with and how detailed you want it to look you uncheck that there and you can bring it out so that is gonna that is gonna be it for this we've got our three ways we've got our quick uh, selection tool where it grabs a section at a time just like that we've got our masking tool where you can choose a selection I'm gonna make this bigger choose a selection of that superstar or whatever it is that you're cutting out and of course you'll get a little more detailed than what I'm doing here but just for recap purposes just like that and then you've got the pen tool which we used to cut out this area on Ray's face so my personal preference is for something like um, match cards and things like that I like using the quick selection tool if I want to get a little more detailed, mainly with some of the uh, women's hair or uh, some of the clothing, if their jacket has 
Their leather jacket's got a uh, belt piece that comes off, or like I said, the women's hair, or even Ray's hair right here, where you want to get in there pretty tight and make it look as crisp as possible. The quick mask tool is definitely the way to go um, for that. So that's going to be it, guys. I appreciate you watching this episode. If you have any questions um, and think I may be able to help you out here in Photoshop for doing some of these minor things, just uh, hit me up down in the comments below. Hit me up on Twitter at CM underscore Puma. And uh, come check us out. We'll do more on the website for SW Federation. Um, you'll be seeing Ray up there shortly on the roster page. So, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. We went over our three, our quick mask, our quick selection, and the pen tool. So then it's just about a preference. You have to experiment with um, all three of those things and see which one helps you and which one you think would look the best in your eyes. Because in the end, it's all about what you like. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this little tutorial and you want to see something maybe a little more, or like I said, you have questions, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching.